All right, hello, brothers and sisters. This is just going to be a quick video. Um, I had made a comment in the forum about how truly it is easy to understand the calendars on the Hebrew calendar and uh, the using the constellations with the sun and the moon. All right, we can tell that where the Hebrew calendar has Nisan every year is actually correct. It's not off a month. It's not off two months in relation to where the start of the year is now with the sun. We know from creation that it's off by two months from Taurus, but in relation to where the year starts now, two months earlier, which is in Pisces, I'm gonna walk you guys through this so you guys can see it for yourselves. I'm starting in 2016, just to give a, a few years to where we are in between and walk you through it and show you what I'm talking about. And I've shared on this, uh, we talked about it in the last video, but I shared on this uh, a number of time, times over the years. And we know that this is prophetic, right? We know that there is an absolute prophetic uh, context in the conversation of Zechariah. And it says that for 70 years, which we know this is the 70th year, which started last year, that for 70 years, they fasted and mourned in the fifth and seventh month. Well, if this is prophetic, and it's saying that they did this fasting and this mourning in the fifth and the seventh month, and we know what fasting and mourning they are, then isn't this an indicator that on their calendar they're following the, the, proper, the proper months, right? So that's kind of like maybe a little, <coughs> excuse me, a little glimpse for us, but I'm gonna show this to you in Stellarium. Now, there may be days, like this is where they would say was day one, okay, the first day of the month. But you're gonna see in some cases, maybe it's off by a day or so. In other years, it's perfectly on. On occasion, it might be off by a day or so, all right? But it's always in the same time frame. And I'm gonna show you, and this is a great month to start with, because this year in 2016, they had a second Adar. So here's what we're gonna see. One of my points that I was making is that every Sivan, okay, every third month of the Hebrew calendar, <coughs> Sivan is Taurus, and it's always got Shavuot, okay? Taurus is the beginning to the Lord God. Shavuot was the beginning. He's counting his 70 years, <coughs> excuse me, for Jerusalem from the Feast of Weeks, and we know that the beginning is Taurus to the Lord God. At creation, it was Taurus. We know it's off by two months, and so what does that mean? Well, that means every new year, every Nisan or first month is at Pisces, okay? But now Pisces, you can see, it, it would seem like a pretty big constellation in the sky, <coughs> whereas Aries is very small. You'll have some like, um, like uh, 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 Virgo, and Virgo's really big. So it's not about how long the sun is in the constellation because some are like 11 days and I think Virgo is like 40 days. The point that we're looking for is when the moon crosses the sun in a constellation. That is called day one, okay? That is called new moon. When the moon is dark, you can't see it, <clears throat> because the sun, all right? The moon is up at the same time as the sun. And so you, you can't see the moon. That is new moon day, okay? That's the first day of the month. In 2016, you could see here, it's April 7th, okay? If we come over here and we look on April 7th, okay, so they've got it April 7th, yet it's actually April 9th, okay? So it'd be the evening of the 8th into the 9th, when really it's the 7th into the 8th. So this is a great example where sometimes they're off by about a day, but in most cases they're bang on. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's follow through this. You got to remember, there are only 12 constellations. So how is it they can get away with adding a month when they fall behind and yet still have every year begin in Pisces? You're going to see what I mean because sometimes you're gonna see the sun over here for Pisces when the moon comes and it'll be like around where Virgo is here. 
but it's still in Pisces. The point you have to understand is that when the sun is in that constellation, okay, that is where the moon crosses it. That's the constellation you know you're in. So in this case, we saw April 7th is day one. And let's keep going. You see, look, it looks like we're getting, oh, we're too far past um, Aries. And yet Aries, we're on bang. <clears throat> this is new moon day in Aries. You would say, well, it's too far past Aries. Aries started like over here. But where did the moon cross over in Aries? Right here. Okay, so new moon day would be, what is that? May 5th, or sorry, May 7th in 2016. May 7th, you see, what happened? They're a day off again, you see, the 7th into the 8th. And they've got it here. So it would seem that in 2016, it's going to be off by one day, but you're going to see that it's still the right month. Okay, it's not off by a month, even though they added one, it's not off by a month. When do we get to Taurus? Right here. There's day one of Taurus, new moon day. Okay, but look at how late it is in Taurus. But guess what? It's in Taurus. You see? It, it didn't change anything. It's still Taurus. So you can't start the month without the new moon in the month. So what happened when we went to where it is in Taurus? They have Savan on the 6th into the 7th. And this showed us it was the 5th into the 6th. Okay? So again, 2016 into early 2017 is off by about a day. And what happens... We're going to go into 2017 now, <clears throat> where you're not going to see in a, a second Adar, okay? So let's even go to like February of 2017. Let's go to February, <coughs> excuse me, and let's follow this with the moon and the sun, okay? We're looking for Pisces, but what comes before Pisces? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, let's go back. We're in March. We're in late February, February 26th. Let's go to February 26th. February 26th, there you go. Okay, now it's on track. So February 26th is Adar 1. So this is the 12th month, okay? From 16 into 17, there's the 12th month, okay, of Adar. You see it right here. Because Aquarius is what? Aquarius is the last one before the new year starts, okay? So we're going to follow this around and see when we get to Pisces. Bang, there's Pisces, okay? March 28th. I'm, I'm going to make a point. Watch this. March 28th. Bang. There you go. You see, so how is it that they added an Adar in 2016 and when you get from 2016 into 2017 and you get to the new year, how is it that it's Pisces again? Okay, you can say, well, well, that's obvious, Alan. They added the second Adar at the beginning, at the end of the 1516. So it starts at the right place in 2016, 17, okay? But then watch this. Here we are in now 2017. Their calendar has it at the right spot, Nissan 1 on the 28th of March. Let's keep going, let's follow it through. And let's see where we get the moon coming in Aries, there it is. You see, it's uh, da -da -da -da, age of the moon. Okay, one more day to the 27th, so it's that 26th and the 27th time frame. Let's go to where that is. There it is right there, 26th into the 27th. So there's IR, okay, second month, and that's Aries. Of course, follow it through. See when the sun now is in Taurus. Let's see when the moon gets there, bang. This is day one, so you've got the 26th, of May. Let's go to the 26th of May. Bang. 26th of May 
day one of Savan, and Savan, the third month, it's always Taurus. See that? Well, now let's carry it through <coughs> and let's go through to the beginning of the next year. Okay? January, let's go to February now of 2018. Watch this. Remember, there was no second Adar added in the in the six in the 17 to 18, right? Or even in the in the 16 to 17. It was the 15 to 16 that ended with the second Adar. And then the 16 to 17, there was no second Adar. So let's see, let's go to the Adar, which it has as February 16th. That should be the 12th month, right? Let's go see February 16th. There it is. In Aquarius, the 12th month, the sun is in Aquarius. There's the moon. And now just keep going. Let's see where the moon comes. There it is. In Pisces, see, it's very early in Pisces. You got the sun, you got the moon, it's day one, and it's March 18th. March 18th. So see, we've got it on the 17th they have on the calendar. This one shows on the 18th. So it goes late 17 to 18, and it's they have it on 16 to 17. But did, did you notice something? This is the point I wanted to make. Even though the 2015-16 year, right? So 2016 ended, right, in, in early 2016 on the Hebrew calendar. It ended with the second Adar, okay? And the second Adar, went, uh, uh, then going to Nisan, had the sun, as I was showing earlier, had the sun and the moon starting right here. But it was still in Pisces. When you go 12 months, as we did, from 16 into 17, and then you do it from 17 into 18, don't you, don't you realize that if it was a mistake and everything was a month off, they could never have month one in Pisces? You wouldn't be in Taurus in month three. You notice every single month is starting in Pisces. Every second month is Aries. Every third month is Taurus. You'll see, I'm going to make another example as we get closer to the years that we're in now. That if you say, oh, no, it's we got to add a month. Well, if you turn around and add a month, you're going to see that you're not in Pisces. You're at the portion of Aries. And you could tell even though Aries is so small because then you're way over here in Taurus, but you're calling it month two. Taurus is never month two. Aries is always month two, and Pisces is always month one. So we just saw what it was here. All right, you can even say probably this. This one has it as 29.4 days there, but this is clearly a dark moon. So it could be that 17 or 17, 17 into 18. Okay, so let's follow it into the next one. There you go. You would look at this and you might think, wait a second, this is in Pisces. You got to remember how small Aries is. Okay, so what does it have it as April 16th? April 16th, right here. There you go. They got it right on. Okay, that's month two for Aries. How do you know it's Aries? And you, you're not saying, well, how come this isn't um, uh, uh, um, uh, Aquarius and then this is Pisces? Well, you can tell as the moon progresses with the sun in it. Watch, let's keep going and watch this. There's Aries coming to an end and there's Taurus. So you're going to try and say that this is, this is uh, Aries? You see, just because it ended here. So it started here and it ended here. What do you think it is? It was, it was Aries. It's just that Aries is such a small constellation. So it looked like you could say, oh, well, there was a, the sun and the moon and there was the sun and the moon here. Well, that's because this one was Pisces. And this one that happened, which appeared late as Pisces appearing, is because Aries is so small. So if it started right here, you have the entire cycle of the month and it ends here. What do you think it was, right? It's clearly Aries. So now what do we have here? 
we have the beginning, the 15th, 16th, we have Taurus. So we go to the 15th, 16th of May. And what do we get? 15th, 16th, there it is. First month of Sivan, and it's Taurus. And again, it's easy to tell because now it's past <laughs> and there's Gemini. But you're like, ah, it's in Taurus. Yes, look at the size of it. You see? Then you do the same thing. We keep going. And, whoops. And this is Cancer. It's simply because of their sizes. But you can tell where the sun with the moon is beginning because when it ends, it's going to be over here. So it's not Gemini, it's Cancer. And we can do this year after year after year. Let me go back to 18 and then I'm going to skip through into the 18, 19. So go to the end of the year. Let's go February. We've got the sun. Let's see, maybe we have to go back. Let's see where it is. And let's bring it forward. Let's see if it's late. Maybe that was Aquarius, you see? That had to have been Aquarius, which means the third month, sixth, let's see if it's maybe second Adar, right? Maybe 2019 calendar is probably a second Adar. And you could tell that right there from the movement of, there you go, from where the sun was with the moon. You see, how on earth can a second Adar be added and everything be off in the years in between, yet it still start every year at Nissan 1 with, with um, Pisces? Okay? So where do we get to? We get to the 6th. So April 6th. Clearly, it was too far out still, right? So what happens when we get to April 6th? There it is. There's your adjustment that is the second Adar, and now you're beginning Pisces, the start of the year. Why did this happen? As we've said, you know, the moon is off by 10 days every year or 11 and a quarter. They make that adjustment with that other, uh, with that second Adar. And what ends up happening every year when they do that? It just so happens the sun is with the moon in Pisces. You see, every single start of the Hebrew calendar year, it's the sun when the moon comes to it in, in, in the constellation of Pisces. Over and over and over again. Let's now see when the moon comes the next time. There it is, right there. And it's the, what is that, May 5th. Go to May 5th. Okay, they got it to the 6th. 5th to the 6th, there it is right there. And how do you know? It, it, it's, it's simply the sun in the constellation, <coughs> excuse me, when the moon shows up. And you can tell, sometimes it's really early, sometimes it's a little bit later, but you can tell based on how far as you follow the entire cycle of the year around where it ends. This is Taurus. This is Savan. You see? It's not all the way back here because Aries hasn't even happened yet. So where's the sun? At Aries. When it was here, the sun was what? At Aries. The sun's right here. It's Aries. It's still Aries. Because the moon had to get to it first. So we go back. Keep going now into Taurus. There's Taurus. June 3rd, and what do we get? 3rd into 4th of 2019. The Hebrew calendar isn't off by a month, guys. It never is. And the, the simplest way to check it every single time is with the sun in the moon. In fact, let's just skip over 21. I wanted to make this a quick video. Let's go into 2022. Let's go, actually, we can even go into the third month. Okay. Let's see this. Let's go to, okay. Let's see, is this Aquarius? 2022. 
let's go to 2022 on the calendar. Twenty twenty two. Ah, it has a second Adar. You notice when it has a second Adar? When it has this gap right in here. Okay? This is again your second Adar year. If they didn't add this second Adar and somebody wants to say, oh, they're off by a month. Well, they already added the second Adar at the end of their twenty twenty one into twenty twenty two, which means the Nissan of 2022 is already more forward than if there was no second Adar. You see what I'm saying? Which means people that are now saying, oh, no, no, there's supposed to be a second Adar this year. It's a month off. It's not a month off at Nissan. They're trying to say it's got to be a month off before Nissan. But there was already a second Adar added in the end of the last year. So somebody might say, oh, well, it's in the wrong spot. That's not really sec. There shouldn't have been a second Adar at last year. Okay, let's do this. Let's look here at 2022 and let's go to that March 4th and see what happens. Okay, we can see it here in March 3rd, 4th. And this isn't a second Adar. So some people want to say, well, there shouldn't have been a second Adar at the end of 2021, 20, 2022. It should be 2022 into 2023 that there should be a second Adar. Okay, let's have a look. We're going to say this isn't second Adar. So if it's not second Adar and this was just regular Adar, then that means this would be Nissan. So that means Nissan would have started on about March 4th of 2022 okay we got it like the second actually the third okay dark day there's the third let's see what happens so that was nissan all of this is nissan now we get to pisces and it's aries you see if there was no second adar then this what we just went to from here to here, from, from uh, sun and moon at the sun to sun, moon at the sun, if this wasn't a second Adar from the end of 2022 to Nissan 1, then that means this was Nissan. And now here we are at the sun with the moon at right in the midst, in the earlier midst part of Pisces. And you're going to try and tell me that that's, that's, uh, what? That this is that this is Aries. So what this would mean is that down here at Nissan One, it would have to be IR, right? Because there was no second Adar, so everything's got to move up by a month. So all of this was Nissan, and that makes all of Nissan month two IR, which is supposed to be at Aries. Does that look like Aries to you? No, it's not even close. Usually it's in this range, right? It's in here to somewhere in here. This is the range of the sun with the moon in Aries. So let's follow it then through for the month. Now there's Aries. But no, it's not Aries, I guess. This is supposed to be Taurus. Okay. And we got it at about what? May 1st. Okay, there it is, May 1st into the 2nd, but it's not really this, it's actually Sivan. Well, watch what happens as we continue to do this. And you go through every single month of the year into 2023, okay? Let's go into February 2023, and let's find the sun with the moon, okay? Fe uh, January 22nd, 2023. So let's go to January 22nd, okay, 22nd into 23rd, 2023, which is Shavuot, the 11th month. But if there was no second Adar, and we were following this from the beginning of the year, then this wasn't really Shavuot, it's really Adar, it's really the 12th month.
right? Because there was no second Adar. If there really wasn't supposed to be a second Adar, and that meant that the 2022 year to 2023 started a month early at the, in the early part of March, then this really isn't Shavat. This is really the 12th month of Adar, right? Because everything's got to shift up by a month. So let's see what happens. January 23rd, okay, 22nd to 23rd, but we're only in Capricorn. Well, let's see what happens. We're in Capricorn. Now this is supposed to be Nissan. This, is, this would be month one, right? Because this was just Adar. If we got rid of the second Adar, like I've been saying over and over, if we got rid of the second Adar, then this becomes Nissan. Is this anywhere close to Pisces? It's nowhere close to Pisces. So what would be February 20th? February 20th, 20th to the 21st, they have it as the 11th month. Right, or sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, so it's off by a day. They have it as the 12th month, okay? This is where Adar is supposed to start. If we didn't have the second Adar last year, then people are saying this is actually Nissan now. Is this Nissan? On February 22nd, you think this is Nissan? And then people say, no, this is where the second Adar gets added. Watch this. If this is where the second Adar gets added, yet we're in Aquarius, watch what happens. You, you have to understand something. You don't add it in one and then you're just turning around to add it to another. But what does it do to the sun with the moon at it in a constellation, okay? So we're saying that this then is not Nissan, but then you would say, okay, no, no, this is a Dar 2, okay? This is a Dar 2. Well, a Dar 2 now ends and there's your Nissan. What's changed? What's changed? Because all that happened is you would have taken the second Adar from the start or end of the previous year that the, in the, in the springtime, late, late winter, early spring of 2022, and you're saying that it shouldn't have been a second Adar there, which then threw out every constellation that followed with the sun and the moon exactly off by a month. And what you're doing then is you're saying, okay, then that makes a dar one because remember, everything would have moved by a month. So that means Shavat was really a dar, and a dar is really second a dar. What? It doesn't make any sense. Because you're right there at Pisces. So you, you've, what happened is every single month along the way was off by a month, off by a month, off by a month with the sun and the moon and the constellation. And then you want to throw it in on the end. You throw it in on the end. And now all of a sudden you've brought everything back into alignment back to Pisces when all you had to do was leave where the Adar was from the year before, which was the sun and the moon from here to here, and everything would have been in its proper constellation. So what happens now when we look at 2023? We come to Nissan 1, okay? March 23rd-ish, right? March 22nd, okay, they, tw they got 23rd. That's when it'll be seen. It would have started 22nd. And there we are in Pisces. So when people are talking about adding a second Adar, the, you, you know, or, or not even saying adding a second Adar, but saying the Jews added it in the wrong spot, or that this year is supposed to be the end of Adar, meaning the end of the 22 into 2023 spring, that there should have been a second Adar. Are you taking it away from the one before? Well, if you're taking it away from the one before, well, now what do you have? You end up with a stretch of what? Instead of two to three years, you have a stretch of about five years, four to five years or four to six years 
in between before they added in the dark. And that just the whole thing is is off in la la land. It, it's it doesn't it doesn't line up to anything. You're you're one month off where the sun and the moon is supposed to be in their constellations would absolutely never line up. So if you're saying that no, last year was in Adar and they were supposed to add one this year, well that doesn't work either. Because if you would have done that, then you're taking this Adar saying, okay, last year was in Adar, but now this year is also supposed to be in Adar, then that means this isn't Nisan. That means this is second Adar, and Nisan doesn't begin until the 22nd of April. So let's go see what April has to tell us. Where's the moon? Okay. April 20th. Okay. April 20th is not Pisces. It's the beginning of Aries. Again, what's the simple way to see it? Watch this, okay? So if this isn't Nissan and it's really supposed to be second Adar, then that means this, you're, you're saying would be whoever it is, would say that this is Nissan 1. So if this is Nissan 1, <clears throat> and this is where it started, okay? 21st, right, to, to the 22nd in there, or 20th to the 21st, 22nd. There it is right there, the sun with the moon. And what does it cross through? Does it cross through Pisces? No. It just crossed from here to here because it just fulfilled the month of Aries. What's Aries? The second uh, uh, month is always Aries with the sun and the moon. And now, when this one is over, that would mean that this isn't really Savan, that this is really um, Ayar, if everything's a month off, and we should be looking at um, this now being Ayar, which would mean it's in Aries and not Taurus. Well, is it in Aries? Or is it now passing through Taurus with the, from the start with the sun and the moon? You see? Guys, I'm telling you, I'm not I'm not being flippant. I'm not trying to 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 be, you know, just mess things up and be joking and everything else. No. It is straightforward. It really really is when you see where the sun is with the moon in the constellation. When you could see where they add the second Adar every second to every third year. And when they do that, it just so happens, it just so happens that the beginning of the year is when the sun is with the moon at the constellation. Every single year, it's Pisces with the sun and the moon. It's Aries with the sun and the moon. It's Taurus with the sun and the moon. Sometimes it's a little bit earlier in the constellation, sometimes it's later in the constellation, but you can tell by its travel and what comes after it because of the differences in the sizes of the constellations. They're all on track, guys. Their calendar is correct, and I believe that's the purpose, or at least a, a, a clue into it is when we see scriptures like this. You see, they fasted and they mourned in the fifth and seventh month for 70 years. Well, if we know this is a prophetic end time thing as well, then the Lord is saying they fasted and they mourned at the fasting and mourning date of the fifth and the seventh month, and they did it for 70 years. If their calendar was off and they didn't have the proper understanding in how they set it up, then we couldn't have had this verse. Here's another one, and I'll just finish with this, because this isn't a long video at all. It's just to show the, the calendar. But let me even show you with this right here. We can all agree that this is the end of days in Daniel. So 70 weeks, and what is 70 weeks? 70 Shabuas. 70 feasts of weeks. Okay? 70 feasts of weeks. Where is it in 2023? May 26th, 
Okay. May 20, whoops, May 26th. There you go. This is the time. And when is it? Well, the sun has to be in Taurus, which means if that's prophetic end time insight and the Lord God said 70 weeks or 70 feasts of weeks are determined upon them, then what does that mean? 70 weeks. 70 feasts of weeks, 70 years of feast of weeks are determined upon them. If it's off by a month and it's over here in Aries or it's, or it's over here in uh, uh, whatever the next cons, uh, Gemini, it has no connection to Taurus. Feast of weeks every single year is Taurus. This is the Lord God's beginning. So I hope that helped. I hope that helped give a, a little bit more insight to be able to just see it flow through in the constellations every year. Full moon, at uh, uh, sorry, dark moon, which is new moon, at the sun, which means you can't see the moon because it's up at the same time as the sun, in the constellation, 30 days or whatever, 29, 30 days, make the count, follow it to the next one. Every single year, it's Pisces, Aries, Taurus. Hope that helps, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.